The Trans-Alaska Pipeline runs for more than half its length exposed above the ground. It's vulnerable to attack. Dozens have tried and only succeeded in denting it. Then in 2001, a drunk hunter with a big game rifle had a bit more success. 250,000 gallons spewed from the pressurized pipe. It took salvage crews 36 hours straight to plug the leak and years to clean up the mess. The pipeline's emergency spill responders are based in Fairbanks, Alaska. I dropped in to meet the men who take the call no one wants to get. After the 2001 sabotage, Frank Dunkley helped design this 1,800-pound clamp that can quickly seal holes in the pipe. The operator's got to get the hole right inside here? The operator has to get that over the hole. OK. But it's pretty easy for him to find that because it, it tends to be spraying out. Right. So it gives him something to line up on. There's a big target? There is a target, yes, sir. Frank's going to put me through a full practice drill, training designed to prepare me for toxic, flammable crude leaking from the pipe. Hey, Bruce. How you doing? His colleague, Bruce Kenyon, helps me into a fireproof suit. I'm ready to suit up. I'm ready to suit up. So, what is the suit I'm putting on? This is an approach suit to help protect the guys from being burned. So if you had a hole in the pipe, you've atomized flammable liquid and gas. You basically made a giant blowtorch. Pretty much, yes, exactly. And that would be bad for us. I'm essentially sealing myself inside a reflective airtight bag. Stuck it up good and tight? Yeah, there it is. This thing is heavy and it's hot. How are you feeling so far? I feel like I'm ready to go to microwave. <laughs> now let's see what it's like to work in it. I'm going to be the ground man here to help Zach Brady line up the clamp over a hole in the pipe. How you doing, man? Zach, how you doing, man? What I need you to do is make sure my hole's lined up and that I'm straight up and down. When you mean straight up and down, you mean perpendicular to the pipe. Yes, sir, you got it. This is just water. We don't want to pollute this lot with crude. And the pressure is only an eighth of what's actually inside the pipeline. Already, the temperature inside my suit is over 100 degrees. It must be terrifying facing down a real fire on an actual spill. All right, uh, gotta bring the bottom away from you. You look like you need to twist uh, away from yourself a bit. Oh, yeah. The valve is about maybe eight inches below the hole. Uh -huh. I think you're spot on, man. I think you can just tap forward. Zach and I managed to seal the breach in just a few minutes. Oh, I really hope we do not have a hole in the pipe, because I don't ever want to get back into this suit again. 